The movie opens up at night in the snowy mountains of Norway, where a girl named Sarah is running for her life. By the looks on her face, it is evident that she is being chased by someone or something. Unfortunately, as she is about to reach her cabin, she accidentally trips over and rolls down a hill, injuring herself. Then, all of a sudden, Sarah is attacked by the mysterious beings, resulting in a painful death. Elsewhere, seven medical students travel to Oxfjord, Norway for their Easter holidays. After a long journey, they arrive at a cabin in the woods owned by Vegard, who is revealed to be Sarah's boyfriend. It turns out Sarah had been skiing in the mountains near Oxfjord and the group were expecting her to return to the cabin. Nonetheless, they have a fun time without her, drinking like crazy and playing trivia games all night. Later, a blonde girl named Liv heads outside to relieve herself. But as she is about to commence, she is startled by a mysterious figure moving in the dark. Liv holds her smelly business for the moment and hurries inside the cabin to inform everyone of her sightings. However, no one is ready to believe her. As the group is contemplating on what to play next, suddenly, a mysterious hiker arrives at the door. He wants to drink some coffee and so the group reluctantly lets him in. After a while, the hiker starts to tell them the dark history of Oxfjord. During World War II, a force of German soldiers named Einsatzgruppe, led by Standard Tenführer Hitler had invaded and occupied the area. The Nazis abused and tortured the local people for three whole years. Near the end of the war, with Germany's upcoming defeat, the soldiers looted all the town's valuables. However, the citizens staged an uprising and ambushed the Nazis, killing many of them while the survivors, including the general, Hitler, were chased into the mountains. Because none of them returned, the town's people had assumed that all of them had frozen to death. Because of the harsh cold conditions. But in reality, no one knows what happened to them. In the present, the hiker finishes telling his story with a serious face, but the teenagers simply laugh it off as a fairy tale. Annoyed, he leaves the cabin and sets up camp somewhere in the mountains. The hiker then proceeds to have some canned food when he is suddenly disturbed by a strange noise outside. It appears as if the beasts from the start of the movie are back. The hiker grabs his rifle and slowly walks outside his tent to investigate. But in the blink of an eye, a person flashes past him, slitting the hiker's throat. He hurries back inside the tent but doesn't last long as the killer follows him inside and violently finishes him off. Meanwhile, Vegard is woken to a ghastly figure placing something beneath the floorboards of the cabin. Believing it to be Sarah, he calls out to her but she ignores him and leaves the cabin. Scared, Vegard follows her outside and shockingly finds her covered in blood. This sends shivers down his spine, but the very next second, he suddenly wakes up, revealing that it was just a nightmare. The next morning, Vegard decides to set out on a snowmobile to look for his girlfriend Sarah. He bids farewell to the group and instructs the alpha guy, Martin, to return down the mountain and call for help if he doesn't return back the next day. After this, Vegard scours the snowy hills until he spots a tent in the distance and heads towards it to investigate. But when he reaches the place, he is taken aback after finding the hiker inside, dead with his belly cut and his intestines exposed. Vegard also finds a track of bloody footprints, which he starts following, hoping to find Sarah. Unfortunately, just as he reaches a bit far, he falls into a pit and gets knocked out cold. Later that evening, the group back at the cabin have drinks and blast some tunes. Meanwhile, as the fat guy, Orlend, looks for some beer beneath the floorboards, he comes across an old mysterious wooden box. On opening it, he shockingly finds loads of valuables and golden coins from World War II. Everyone is stunned by the discovery, and they decide to split the treasure once Vegard and Sarah return to the cabin. In the next scene, as the group continues partying throughout the night, Orland heads out to take a dump. Along the way, a golden coin falls out of his pocket and onto the snow. His girlfriend, Chris also accompanies him inside the toilet and the two end up having coitus. Meanwhile, a creepy-looking zombie shows up outside and picks up the gold coin. This is the same creature that has been murdering the nearby hikers. Shortly after, Orland returns back inside the cabin while Chris is still inside the toilet taking a dump. All of a sudden, 
she spots the zombie's face peeking through a hole and becomes terrified. Chris tries to escape with all her might but the floor beneath her suddenly collapses and she is covered in defecation. Chris quickly gets up and limps her way to the cabin while screaming for help. However, the others can't hear her because of the loud music inside. After some agonizing minutes, a girl with dreadlocks, Hannah finally hears the screams and turns off the music before going outside to check on her. But right before Chris can be located, she is swiftly captured by the zombie and taken away. Meanwhile, the boys also become wary that something is lurking in the dark. So they grab a shotgun and go outside to investigate. To their horror, they find Sarah's rucksack buried in the snow. On the other hand, Hannah finally sees Chris outside the cabin window, but not in the way she had expected. The poor girl's head has been decapitated, and soon, she is split into two. When Liv notices this, she slowly goes to inspect the window when suddenly, a zombie breaks through the glass and violently pulls her hair. She is about to meet the same fate as her friend but Hannah arrives in the nick of time and cuts off Liv's hair, hence saving her.